Hello YouTube. Uh, my name is Joshua Carlin. Sorry I haven't made a video in over three months. I've just had a bunch of stuff happen that I just didn't really feel like videotaping, so this will be some up. Uh, what happened? Uh, first thing is I hit a <coughs> pothole going 65 miles an hour, uh, roughly, on I-35. Uh, destroyed a rim and tire, uh, so I had to get replace all four rims and tires because I had uh, th two bent rims. There was a third, but I got an extra extra bent. On and all the tires were six years old, so I had to do that for safety. Uh, I went with Vision Cross rims, a gray color uh, matches the car. I'll put a picture up right here. Um, uh, keep in mind, <clears throat> this was back literally when I first got them. It was winter and I had salt all over my car. I don't wash my car in the winter. Keep keep it on there. Keep the paint protected. Uh, that was twelve hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I know I'm sharing financial details. I don't care. Um, the tires I went with were Continental Control Contact Tour AS Plus. Uh, they are one of the better tires. Uh, they were recommended by the person at at Discount Tire. Uh, she actually uses them, and they are better better than the Bridgestone Eco at Pia 44 or 422 Plus. Uh, especially when it comes to stopping in the snow. And that is the main reason why I went with those, because the Bridgestones are horrible in the snow. And up here in Duluth, Minnesota, we get snow, we get slush, we get rain, all at the same time, so I went with a better tire. Uh, that was the biggest expense. Uh, so... Got that all settled and fixed. Um, I bought a new project, uh, a 5,000 watt diesel generator. I do have a few uh, videos of it, of me taking it apart. Um, the reason why I bought it is A, it kind of fell into my lap, uh, my friend down at Makerspace. Uh, bless his heart. Uh, I did tell him not to send me any mo any more auction links because that uh, can be very troublesome for me. Uh, well, he knew I liked Diesel, so actually it was his uh, one of his family members who was having the auction. It was it's literally brand new, less than two hours on it. I put like maybe 15 minutes on it uh, just to load test it and see it run. I do have a small clip that I'll post of me starting it. second time I did it off camera for the first time uh, batter is dead and too small so I used my car to start it uh, I primed the oil system got that going and it literally popped right off I'll put the clip here um, and that turned into a bigger project than I thought because it has a, it had a mouse nest on the exit cooling air so at a tear the whole, it's an enclosed type, so I had to pull the whole dog house off, remove the, the nest, mouse damaged the insulation around the cooling duct, and some corrosion on the engine, so I had to tear it all apart, uh, clean all the mouse stuff, there's mouse stuff in the bottom of the, on the frame of the generator, so I had to clean that, I scraped it, a lot of flaking paint, 
So I painted it Chevy black orange with high uh, 500 degree engine block tape paint to protect it. Uh, I cleaned the cooling fins the best I could. Pulled the rear cover, pulled the head, clocked the piston rings, put it all back together. Uh, I had to replace the outlets on the control panel because uh, cheap Chinese outlets. I had a bad experience with my my other Chinese generator that I will be getting rid of here at the beginning of May. Uh, it's a 3000 watt gasoline generator. I melted one of the plugs because the connections were super duper loose and I figured I'm not run dealing with that again so I'm replacing all four outlets and actually three three outlets uh, a normal 120 uh, outlet a 120 20 amp twist lock and a 120 240 volt 30 amp twist lock uh, it came with like a hundred feet of 120 240 power cord which is probably worth uh, at least two hundred dollars in itself uh, I did pay about twelve hundred I uh, went for $1,125 plus the buyer's fee and all that. So uh, I needed a bigger generator because at times I was pushing that poor gasoline generator over over the continuous by mm, a decent amount. I was running almost 3,200 watts off that, that generator. Uh, so off that gasoline generator, so... I figured this fell in my lap. I need a bigger generator. It will burn less fuel, so I went for it. It was an old Brainerd, uh, and and segue to that is the compressor I was rebuilding. I don't know if I put a video up of it. Um, yeah, I don't think I did. Uh, is I went to torque the connecting rod caps during the rebuild. Uh, I was going to torque it, uh, aluminum, uh, I ended up replacing the fasteners with grade 8 cap head screws, uh, stainless, or chrome, yeah, let's just say that was a bad idea, I went for that, for the head bolts too, um, over torqued it and cracked one of the main caps, uh, not the, just half the, where the hole goes through, so I, I figured, and instead of trying to fix that, I, I gotta buy a new compressor. Uh, I'm looking at a Harbor Freight, uh, uh, one of the Silent Air uh, ones, uh, 10 gallon, uh, similar cubic feet per minute, about 4.3. Uh, here we go. Uh, it's the 10 gallon 175 ultra quiet horizontal shop auto air compressor. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, uh, I figured it's more air, it will cycle less. Um, I'll have to rig up a, a PLC to uh, sw switch dummy loads uh, just to keep the engine load fairly consistent so I don't wet stack it no big deal again that's later down the road I can do it manually for this coming year if we'll probably have it because it's our 60th anniversary so that's that's another oopsie uh, alarm clock finally died after about 10 years of having it so I had to replace that my computer uh, has been having Wi-Fi issues since I bought it so um, I was talking to Eric at Best Buy up here in Duluth, and I ended up buying a, a Wi-Fi dongle. It's just a small one. Uh, it only happens when I, uh, unplug it, and I, what happens is I unplug my computer, close it, go down to Makerspace, open it, and the Wi-Fi, uh, kicks in and out. It infuriates the heck out of me. It happens at my grandma's too, so 
Uh, I said enough. I had to buy that. And in order to install the drivers, I had to buy a disk driver because my comp or a CD drive uh, because my computer doesn't have one. Plus, I was needing one so I can run some of my older games I have that I could run that I used to run on my old laptop, which was getting too sluggish for me to use. Um, the trailer is going to be getting a upgrade, new axle, uh, new sides. I'm going to get ramps, uh, uh, ramps that I put into the sidewalls. Uh, yeah, so that's going to get a rebuild. Uh, I'm just figuring if I want to go with a standard spring axle or torsion axle. I'll probably end up going with the torsion axle for smoother ride and inter independent uh, suspension, which is kind of nice. Yeah, and that's more money. Oh. Uh, and uh, my car is at 90, over 94,000 miles. It's like 94,011. Uh, so... Come, uh, I think the second full week in May, uh, my car is going in for the 95,000 mile service. Uh, oil filter, fuel filter, cabin air, engine air, brake fluid flush, car parking brake cables. They're seized. I want them replaced so I can actually use it so I don't destroy them. Parking Paul in the transmission. Uh, yes, I use it. I tr when before they seized, uh, I would use it all the time, and they seized tech and roached the rear rotors. Uh, uh, did I say brake fluid flush? Uh, I'm having weird brake issues. Uh, once in a while, it happened this morning. Uh, I would go to stop. Brakes were literally not there, and other times, if I hit the brake pedal uh, lightly, they they lock up. So, fluid is cloudy, so that's gonna get flushed, and I might end up having the check valve on the brake master booster replaced, just like on my Passat. Uh, so, let's hopefully that fixes it, and. I ended up shipping the tiller off my second MTD down to, uh, it actually left on the truck today. It's going down to Florida for my friend Tony. Uh, he's on Facebook. Um, so he's going to use it on his 990 that he's probably going to end up doing a diesel swap because the Briggs is tired. And it, I have like three years worth of projects right now. Uh, What's kind of funny, or not funny, but sort of sad, is uh, one of my friends, Pat, an uh, older gentleman, he lives across from my grandma's. Uh, he ended up passing away two weeks ago on a Monday. Uh, so, and Myrna, uh, his wife, is uh, with uh, her and her uh, nephews and grand brothers or sons, I'm not quite sure how they're related, is they're going through it. And Pat, or Myrna told me that Pat considered me as a grandson because he would light up every time I would come over there, which he was a, he was a really nice guy. Um, and, and I wish I could spend more time with her, but just with me being busy, it's sometimes hard to do. Hi, Kelvin. Uh, so I'm going to possibly talk to them. Uh, Pat has a 5x8 a five by, yeah, trailer uh, with wood sides, dual uh, taillights, so I might be getting that in a, a lawn tractor. Uh, uh, he also has had a has a generator that I might repair and then give back to them and they can do whatever I still got to talk to them about that so 
I know I might I'll end up with two trailers. I know uh Oh I'll probably end up using both because that track drive snowblower that's gonna have to be kept out up out at a friend's out in Carlton. Uh because I don't have much room in my ten by twenty storage unit. Like I said, I got three years worth of projects, and I've finally come to realize at the age of 25, I turned uh, 25 a month ago yesterday, so I know I would make a video, but I just didn't really feel like it. Um, the tra track drive is going to be parked out there. Uh, I would wish I could get a 10 by 40 storage unit, but they're hard to come by. Uh, I do have a small lead on one, but I don't think it's promising. Sorry if it's a big long monologue. I just need to get a lot off my chest, which has has to happen time to time. Um, so I gotta do a sort of <clears throat> a get rid of stuff. Um, the gasoline generator is going up to the Island Lake Spring Auction along with a 22 inch pull and push mower that I trash picked last year when I was out in Cloquet. It runs, it likes to kick back when you first start it. So I has, have a new flywheel key, uh, new air filter screw is bent and a new blade. And I'll probably end up having a new air filter seal. It's it's missing so um, I took that was going I have a 150-175 gallon fuel oil tank that I picked up near our cabin. Uh, in a rainstorm, heavy rain, I had to pull over several times. Uh, that's going up there, I don't need that. I was thinking I can use it for a water tank, but again, I, like I said, I got three years worth of projects and I don't really see myself needing a 150 gallon water tank anytime soon. Uh, course I might need it about three years after I get rid of it but by that time I'll figure out another tank issue tank solution Heck, I might just buy a fuel tank meant for a pickup truck and use that instead you know who knows or find an old fuel oil tank uh, that's besides the point that's gonna go uh, Barry, I know you're probably watching this. He's an old, co he's an old co-worker. Um, I have another push mower that needs the ignition coil. And that's going to go up to the auction because I don't really have time to deal with it. Like I said, I got three years worth of projects. And it seems like they grow every time. Um, <clears throat> and then I have a bunch of lawnmower handles. So that's going to go up for auction I don't need them if I'm gonna I'm just gonna buy a metal stock and use it f for whatever that should clear up a bunch uh, I ended up getting a third parts MTD uh, broken spindle uh, it was partially broken when I got it uh, he moved the tractor the spindle fell off so that's gonna just be for parts. Uh, I'm gonna be stripping that down probably in the next year. Uh, get that more room be behind my trailer. Um, and I found out on my blue MTD the left side spindle has been broken and then rewelded, so I will be end up replacing that spindle with one of my spares. Uh, Want to keep the MTD that I got with the tiller, snowblower, and the till and the one bottom plow, sort of uh, intact. So I have another one if I want to throw another engine. I don't know what. Yeah. So sorry, I'm a little tired. It's just and I've been dealing with a a cough from my acid reflux. Uh, yes. My mom is knows that I have had a cough for the last three years, and 
She says that it can be LPR or GERT, same diff, uh, their seller. Uh, and I talked to a nurse when I got my first COVID shot. I'll be getting my next COVID shot next Thursday. Uh, Today is the 9th, by the way. Uh, I'm getting the Pfizer. Uh, and that nurse said that most people don't know that acid reflux can cause a cough. Or cough can be caused by acid reflux. And I have con constant acid reflux. I eat Tums, I take an anti-acid, and I take an antihistamine for my nose. It keeps it in some, a decent check. I still have flare-ups now and then. I, don't, I do not want to try a protein pump inhibitor. Uh, I don't think my body would uh, take nice to it. My mom has issues. Uh, she actually got the first shot because of me. I didn't have any reactions, so she went with it. Um... Let's see. Uh, my room is a mess. Uh, it always is. I'm trying to keep clean it a little bit, little by a little bit, but it's kind of hard to do that when you're working through projects. Um, I'll post up pictures here on the tiller of, <coughs> <coughs> of me building the crate for the tiller uh for my first crate i didn't do do too bad uh i actually bought a 54 inch plow for the for my blue mtd i gotta modify it to from a a newer style uh 990 frame and to work with my frame uh yeah there are slight differences so i'll be nice to have that uh, that's being shipped up from Ohio. I still gotta deal with that. I want to get my car finished, then I'll deal with that. And my friend still wants me to buy his uh, wheel horse B80 with uh, a front blade snowblower and a mower deck. Uh, so I'll probably be getting be getting that here. I know I'm gonna bring this up. Is I know Dad. I know we need to talk about it. It's just, this is what I like to do. I like to work on projects. I know, we'll talk about it. Um, so, there's that. I end up having a, a down at Maker Space, I do believe. Uh... I think I did end up uh, I'm not quite sure, but one day I was wanting to work on the <clears throat> control panel. I still need to drill the holes for the new outlets. I was going to work on that one day, and my area was a mess, and I was sick and tired of it, so I ended up cleaning the whole center section of the metal shop, getting that all cleaned up. Uh, I... Yeah, it's... Yeah, I've just been dealing with a butt ton of stress and yeah it's just that's the main reason why I haven't made any videos is <clears throat> it's been winter I've been busy with the diesel generator <coughs> and dealing with the uh, this other stuff it's just I really haven't had time to make videos and this is I know I've been trying to I know I've been wanting to make this it's just finding time to do it uh, so I can't think of anything else I know I, I need to do scripts but I never do scripts I literally just do it to, as I go well thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video and I will try and get to back to regular scheduled program.